sketch a little XY graph. We're just going to kind of approximate it here. Um, looks like we're going to need values in the hundreds. Now what I would do is for this graph, I'm going to go make each of these marks equal to 50. So here's 100, here's 200, here's 300, and here's 400. Okay. Do the same thing with my x-axis. We're just kind of want to get an approximate, so approximately what this is going to look like. So there's 100, there's 200, there's 300, there's 400. Okay. So x is greater than zero, and y is greater than zero basically means that we're going to be working in this quadrant here positive x's and positive y values here. So let's look at this. x is less than 280. That means we're going to graph the line x is okay, about 280, approximately right here. Pretend like that's straight. Okay, and then we have X, y is less than or equal to 208. So we'll say about 208 is about right here. All right, and then we have 8x plus 5y. Um, let's think of that as an equation equals 1600 and basically what I how I'd graph that is I'd replace X with 0 basically find my X and Y intercepts so when X is 0 that gives me my Y intercept of 320 Just for time purposes I'll go ahead and figure that out for you and when Y is 0 X is going to end up being 200 okay so I'm going to graph when x is 0, y is 320. It's about right here. And then when, when we have 200, 0 here. And then we're going to do our best to connect those. Okay, and now we're going to take the 3x plus 10y, and we're going to set that equal to 11, 20. And again, I like to just find my x and y intercepts, just kind of give, because I'm just looking for an approximation of what this is going to look like. So when x is 0, y is going to be 112. And then this one is, when y is 0, x is 373 and a third. Again, we're just kind of finding an approximation, so we'll just do about where x is 0, y is 112. It's about right here. And x is 373. Approximately, but here. You want to connect those. Okay, that line wasn't very straight, but you get kind of the idea of what this graph is going to look like. Okay, now one of the things, a quick way to check to see where you're going to graph it is let's look at this 3x plus 10y. That was greater than or e equal to 1120. Now, 
look at this look at this in terms of y as long as there's no negative in front of your y you can use this shortcut if and in this case that we're going to look at this as y is greater than we're going to ignore everything else and just say y is greater than so greater than values for y go up okay so we would be shading above this line okay and if we do the same thing for our other equation 8x plus 5y is greater than or equal to 1600 again here's our y there's no negative if there was a negative we just have to flip the inequality that's the only difference so in this one y is greater than or equal to that means we'd be shaving above that line okay so we also have this line y equals 208 in our equation for that we have y is less than or equal to 208 so y is less than would be below that line okay and then for my other line x equals 280 that was x is less than or equal to 280 and x is are less than are going to be to the left of the line x's get lower as you go to the left so I'm going to see that that's going to be this to the left of that line and you can see the region here got to be above this line okay above this line to the left of this one and below this one and so it's going to be contained my solution is in this region here okay now once you find that solution you want to basically look at the vertices because my min or max values are going to be found at all these points of intersection.